Welcome back. Uh, the Nifty now sitting around that 17,150 mark. A mild recovery from the lows is what we've seen. Uh, the stock on our radar, however, is insecticides India, and that's primarily on account of a couple of factors. One, it has seen a big rally over the last six months, almost 75% higher. Secondly, you know, the monsoon impact on their business. And thirdly, uh, what does Forex do for them? The rupee depreciation that we're seeing at a record low versus the dollar. So let's get uh, tracking uh, the business with the management of the company. We do have with us the MD, Mr. Rajesh Agarwal. Thanks a lot, sir, for joining in. Uh, you know, before we get to uh, the rainfall, etc., I just wanted to understand the last time you had revised your exports guidance down from 200 crores to 150 odd crores. How does the rupee depreciation impact you? Is it a positive impact or a negative one? Because you do have a fair amount of imports as well. Uh, rupee depreciation is always negative and at this time when I talk about exports, most of the countries are not having the dollars. So we are finding it very, very difficult to get the LCs and even if the LCs are coming, some LCs are not being entertained by the bankers in India. And in many cases, when people have to pay the advances, they are not able to give the advances or pay the final amount of money in time. So that is uh, hampering the export front actually. And yes, uh, the currency depreciation always impacts our imports also. So it has a hit on the company. These are the challenges which we have to face at the moment. Burst to it? I mean, how? what does that mean in terms of your margins? Could you put some numbers to that? Could you quantify the impact? The voice. Okay, all right. Okay. Rajesh, let me try. Uh, you know, voice cracked, actually. Uh, is it better right now, Rajesh? This is Nigel on this side. I hope I'm audible. Rajesh, can you hear us? I nope. think our, our audio is reaching to him in a scattered manner, just the way the rainfall <laughs> was in this country. It was uneven at times, a lot at times, and uh, sometimes it wasn't there as well. We'll probably try to repatch that connection uh, with Mr. Agarwal, for, but for now he's saying that rupee depreciation is, is a negative? bit negative for him yeah. because of his imports. 70% of their imports for a lot of their products come from China. Okay, okay. we do have him back. I hope this time around uh, the rainfall is normal. At least the audio run. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, Rajesh, I believe that we are audible right now. So just to take the point on exports, as you said, that yes. rupee depreciation is a negative for you all. So we, uh, we got that people across the globe do not have dollars and I think having some problem with the banking facilities as well, uh, owing to that. Now, give us a couple of numbers. Uh, yeah. On the margin, what is it in terms of, uh, you know, because of the rupee depreciation? Is it still negative even on the margin? And also, what is now the revenue run rate you're looking at from exports? in the coming year? Uh, overall, if I talk about sales, actually, we have launched uh, several new products. So domestic business is doing fine. And also the institutional business is doing fine. In the export front, yes, uh, there is a hit. So we are trying to recover. So in the first half of the year, we are not able to make much recovery. But yes, this is the peak uh, quarter for exports, if I talk about Q3, uh, here we would like to make a recovery in Q3 and also take it to Q4 so that at least we are able to maintain our uh, the revised targets. Uh, regarding the uh, uh, profitability, yes, there will definitely be a hit because we had a target to increase our profitability by 100 basis points. So it will be a challenge actually for us. Though the revenue of the company has been going up, but yes, these hits actually of the increase in cost and uh, uh, of course the depreciation of rupee, these are going to have a hit below the value. So you're saying you're still holding on to your exports guidance of uh, 150 crore this year, despite the first half being absolutely poor for you. You hope that there would be some amends made in the second half and uh, there would be a challenge to meet that 100 basis points margin improvement guidance. Uh, so uh, should we then work with the same margins as last year or, uh, you know, there could be a chance that it could be lower than last year as well? I don't see a chance of the lower margins, but uh, definitely we'll try to improve it a little. So there are new launches, there are new products, so they should definitely be helping and the new expansion should also be coming in. So they will also help us in improving our sales in the Q2. Q1 has been a fantastic sale year for us actually in totality. So uh, the result are yet to come. I'll not be able to share the numbers, but it has been much, much better than the previous year. And in Q2 also, I believe we should be able to maintain that type of growth. Right. And you know, uh, your capacity in the hedge was supposed to come on stream in the second quarter. Has it come on stream? And uh, what kind of revenue are you expecting from this this year and at full full uh, utilization? Uh, the hedge full utilization is going to happen in the next year. But yes, 
uh, we uh, the capacity is going to come in this quarter so uh, diwali holidays so they are uh, plus minus thing which are happening but uh, definitely in this quarter the hitch should come up and in the chopanki rajasthan plant also we had an expansion the water trials are on and we are targeting that in this month after diwali we will start the we should start the plant so the capacity will be coming at both the locations and they will be helping us in both going in future Uh, how much can they uh, increase your revenues by i mean just wanted to understand because they'll be in full operationalization next year how much can they contribute this year and once they reach full uh, utilization like we will uh, we get a high 20 like uh, high double digit growth in this year and i believe we should be able to repeat the same in the next fiscal as well because of this uh, help of these plants so that will be uh, very very helpful in doing this actually Right, and uh, what about uh, the incremental revenue from the last uh, new products that you added? Uh, you had guided for five to six new products this year. How many have you launched? I remember this Hachiman and Oxim. Uh, you know, yeah. how how much can they scale up this year? Uh, uh, Hachiman has been the highest selling product so far for us actually. When it comes to brand sales, we have crossed fifty crores revenue for Hachiman, and uh, we also have supplied it to P two P and. Uh, it has a similar number actually and uh, oxim also the season will be coming shortly and uh, will be uh, i think at least doubling or uh, will go up to three times in oxim also along with this we have launched several new brands actually the key brands which have come far are tori which has come out of our own r&d center very good product actually and it has done wonders in the market and next year again we are going to multiply the uh, consolidated revenue which is generated out of tori and uh, the partners whom we have made is again uh, to the range of 75 crore plus and uh, uh, the again uh, then we have uh, launched shinwa which has come from the house of nissan so this also is doing pretty well actually and uh, i hope uh, that uh, 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 we should touch 50 crores this year and next year we should be able to touch 100 crores out of this product and uh, uh, we have recently launched izuki again from nissan which is a mixture product so this product is also doing very well actually the total revenue so because the launch has been just last month so uh, i think two months of uh, uh, sales we have got so uh, should do good revenue and we should be able to multiply it again and uh, recently most recently two days back we have launched our new product called star that has come from our r&d center again we are expecting a revenue of just 10 crores uh, because uh, we will be just hitting the season actually but again there is a possibility of multiplying it next year so there are many products in the queue as we are getting the registrations and as the plants are getting ready we are trying to launch these products so yes still more than half a dozen products are in queue and as and when we get the registration we we'll launch this and some of the launches which has happened in this year are really big actually and some of these products will touch 100 crores in the second year of their existing this itself all right and uh, final question then uh, you know you were uh, looking to enter highly regulated markets you were looking at us europe and brazil what's the update on that and back home there has been a fair amount of uneven rainfall that both nigel and i were talking about uh, uh, you know during uh, our conversation uh, what's the impact of that on your business okay i'll reply for both Uh, U.S. and uh, Brazil, etc. means American markets. We have signed with certain companies, and we are registering our products. So, expecting uh, some registration shortly during this year, and that business will start as we get these registrations. Some of the smaller registrations have come in actually, and we are waiting for the business to start in uh, those markets. So, yes, this is uh, 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 will be a good foray for us. And regarding the rains, yes, the rains. Uh, whenever it happens, actually, it impacts our business fast. so even if it is heavy rain or low rain or dry spells everything hits us and at this point of time the rain is not needed because the crop is in the harvest situation and uh, the it has delayed the harvest and at some places it might have hit the farmers also so there may be some loss in the yields but the, the generally the prices of all the crops are very good and the expectation is good because the rainfall which had happened was heavy only on one day and uh, in the next two days it was much lighter which means that the loss to the crop would be minimal so let's see how much it turns out but yes there is definitely a hit and whatever sales was happening it uh, slowed down a little due to rain but as the sun shines we are expecting the last sales which will be happening now and then uh, the first season the 
All right, we take that point. Uh, uh, you know, uh, there was a bit of an impact, but you believe that as the sun shines, the business will be back again and the lost sales will come back. That's about Insecticides India. Flat today, but has seen a big rally over the last few months. For the market, there has been a recovery. The Nifty Bank is back above that 39,000 mark, and that's primarily uh, leading the Nifty higher from its lows right now. When we started the show, the Nifty was down by over 110 points, and now it has recovered about 60 points from there itself. Take a short break, come back, get you more on the markets and individual stocks. Thank you.